All right, so today is December the 20th, and we are going to work on the line of best fit, the line of best fit sheet today. Um, first thing, we need to clear our calculator. Let me pause real quickly because you know what? I just have my pen. I don't have my pills. Okay, so let's clear the our calculators first. So that's second plus 712. Come on, Sammy, put your mask back on, baby. Second plus 712. All right. So we are going, they give you some scatter plots. They're asking us to graph. We're not going to graph this. We're going to graph it in the calculator. So don't worry about A. Um, it says, what is the equation for the line of best fit? And we're going to, uh, I want you to see it in the calculator. Write the equation here. Make a prediction. It says, predict the exam grade uh, of a student who studied for six hours. Hours, of course, is X because that's time. This is X. And this is Y. Bless you, babe. So here they're telling you that X is equal to six. So they want you to figure out what Y is. What, the, what would the grade be? If the trend stays the same and we use, of course, the equation, y equals equation in order to figure that out okay all right so let's do it first things first is to do the scatter plot so we're going to press the stat button we're going to press enter on edit and we're going to enter our points in i'm gonna pause because people are not ready okay so now we're going to type in our numbers we're going to type hours in for x that's under l1 and grade under L2 for Y. I'm going to call those out so you don't have to look at your paper. We have 2, 5, 1, 0, 4, 2, and 3. And that's, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I mean, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Thank you, 7. So it should be 7 numbers, and it is. Press the over button, arrow over one. So we're under Y2 now. I'm sorry, L2 now. So we have 77, 92, 70, 63, 90, 75, 84. Okay. All right. You should have seven numbers there as well. Raise your hand if you're still typing and I'll wait. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna, let's go ahead and graph it. Go to window and we're gonna fix our window range. What's our smallest X value in the table? It is zero. So I'm gonna put negative one because that's a little smaller than zero. What's our highest X value? Five. Five, so 10 is, is okay. It gives you some space. We're going to go up by ones because neg from negative 1 to 10 is not a whole lot of space. So we can go up by ones. Let's look at our Y min, Y max, and Y SCL. What's our uh, lowest Y value? 63. 63 is the lowest. So a little lower than 63, maybe 60. Okay. What's our highest Y value? 92. 92, so maybe 100. So from 60 to 100, that is a lot of, let's just leave it at one, see what it does. If it gives us some type of error, we're going to change the scale maybe to like two or five, okay? All right, let's, uh, let's go to second Y equals to cut the plot on. Am I moving too fast for anybody? Okay, press enter there and we're going to, Press enter once more so we can cut it on. And all of the settings are where they need to be for this. So now you're just going to press graph. Okay, and there we have our scatter plot. Any questions about that? Okay, so now let's do the line of best fit. I don't need to know the, um, the, the correlation coefficient so I don't have to press diagnostic on. 
because it's not asking for the correlation coefficient. So I'm going to go back to stat and do the lean reg. Yes, babe. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, and then go over calc. Do you know how to do this before you leave? Do you know how to do this part? So you might want to wait until I finish this first one. All right. Um, go down to lean reg. Oops. Go back up. Uh, go down to lean reg. Okay. And we're going to press second one, comma, second two. If all I needed was the equation, I would have just pressed enter. But because I want to see the line in the scatter plot, the line of best fit, then that's why I'm taking these steps. Don't forget comma. Anybody knows what's after that? Vars. Then what's after vars? Y vars. And then what? Enter, enter, enter. Okay. So now I have my equation. I'm going to, because I don't want to write all these numbers down as my equation, I'm just going to round the numbers off. So let's do two spaces behind the de decimal. So what's my slope here? 6.09. 6.09. If I was rounded to the nearest tenths place, one space, it would be 6.1, right? So let's just do two spaces behind. So let's do 6.09 as my M. So this is... 6.09x and my y-intercept two spaces behind the depth well you know what all of these answers are whole numbers so let's just round to the nearest whole number so let's do just six here since your answer is a whole number let's put six x and then plus to the nearest whole number that's going to be 60 what 64 Okay. Any questions about that? Because we want our answer to be a whole number. Yes, baby. Um, I have a question about after you do like the L1 and then the L2. L1, L2, comma, VARS. And then Y, VARS. And then enter, enter, enter. Yes, ma'am. So the didactic on part, is that only for the regression? That's only for um, the correlation coefficient. Because if you do the diagnostic on, once you do the lean reg, you'll see the R. The R will come up on the screen. But if you don't do the um, diagnostic on, this is what you get here. Okay. Yes, babe. Uh, so for these equations, do we need the diagnostic on or can we just like For this, if it's not asking for a correlation coefficient, you don't have to do diagnostic on. All right, so let's do the last part. You got to find out what Y is. So out to the side, okay? You're going to substitute 6 for 0 to figure out, I mean, 6 for X. Sorry, y'all. Substitute 6 for X and solve for Y. So this is Y is equal to 6 times 6 plus 64. Okay, do y'all see that? Okay. And let me make sure, is that right? Yeah, that's supposed to be right. So that gives me Y is equal to 36 plus 64. What's 36 plus 64? 100. So that person is expected to make 100. Now, is this, uh, is this going to be true all the time? No, no y'all. This is why they say these are predictions. If the trend, if this is the trend, then this is about what this student would make where all of these are estimates. Any questions, comments, or concerns? All right, it said, could this line go on forever? This line could go on forever. It's a linear. This line could go on forever. However, listen, your grades stop at 100. Do you understand? So, uh, so after a certain amount of time, as it pertains to the problem, it, you won't go on forever. So in this particular scenario, the highest grade you can get is going to be 100. Any questions about that? Is there anyone that's lost? Okay. Are there any questions about anything? Are you sure before I stop the video? All right, so I need you to scan it. Let's see, you're doing the same thing in this problem. 
you're going to do the same. And don't forget, uh, which I forgot to show you, when you go to y equals, they automatically put the equation there. So all you have to do is just press graph and the line of best fit shows. I need for you to be aware. If I type this, this in, this is not going to be the exact same line. It's going to be close to it. But this, it's not the same, the exact line because we rounded these numbers. Does that make sense? So it's way more accurate for you to do what we did so that the calculator can put all the numbers in there for the line of best fit. This is the most accurate. Questions, comments, or concerns? We round it to put it on paper, but this equation is most accurate. Elijah, you okay? All right, come on now. All right, so on the back side, you're doing the exact same thing. Number five, you're going to answer the questions by looking at the line of it, using the line of best fit here. Okay. Um, and number six, you just use the pictures to answer the questions. Once you finish, please take a picture of your work and submit it in Canvas. Yes, babe. Yes. Uh huh. That's fine. Anybody else? All right, if you have questions, just let me know. Again, I'm going to be grading assignments as you're working, okay? If you, fin you finish this, if you finish this early, you can work on makeup work. If you don't have any makeup work, make sure that you, if you would like to uh, improve your grade, that means you need to resubmit assignments. Go back, make the corrections, and resubmit. If you've done all of that, great. You can work on something else from another class. Are there any questions about the expectation for today? Okay, you have plenty of time to work, so let's let's get everything that we can get done. Let's just get it done, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video.